Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Welcome to Melapela YouTube channel. In this occasion, I'm going to upload a gameplay with Arum. Arum support, okay? Here we have the build, here we have the Arcanas, 10 of Indomitable, 10 of Benevolence, and 10 of Valiance, okay? We are finding, we are looking for a full HP build, okay? Build and Arcanas. Here we start the gameplay. As per the item of support, we are going to build uh, the Hem of Earth uh, Genesis, okay? We are going to build the five passive uh, item and we are gonna start invading as we know the first skill of Arum has a lot of life steal and we can do easily a one versus two so we are going to make them lose a lot of time a lot of jungle we start stealing the first jungle and now we are going to start start and steal the second item the blue one okay this is very worth it for our team if we manage to get it I don't know if we managed to get it, Violet is poking from distance, Elandor gets the first blood, so it's pretty good for us, we are going to get the second one, okay, we receive a kill, but we get the blue one, okay, it's very worth it, because we make uh, the jungle enemy suffer a lot from the farm, okay, in this occasion, I'm going uh, Arum with Elandor in the lane, okay, we have in the mid lane Alistair, we have as jungle Alain, the new champ, and we have in the in the top lane a Volkath, okay? This Volkath is pretty bad, so we are going to try and carry this game, Elandor and me, from the ADC lane, okay? Let's talk a little bit about the passive of Arum. <coughs> okay, the passive of Arum, as it says, Ravenous Beasts. It says that Arum Beast, no, Arum Spirit Beast deal 25 damage plus a 3% maximum HP, HP as magic damage, okay? And heals Arum for 20, okay? This is the passive, so you get the, the, the healing from Arum by the passive, but combined with the first skill, okay? Uh, the passive also heals on minions but only one percent okay one percent of her maximum hp so it heals much more in the hero enemies okay the first skill lion tamer a uh, uh, arum su summons okay a spirit beast those that you are uh, looking that doing circles around arum are the those beasts that i'm talking those spirits okay while the beasts are active using the skill again and damaging an enemy will reduce the cooldown by 50%. Arum can summon upon th up to three beasts, as you are seeing now I have one, if I touch the first skill I use another one, okay, up, up to three. And the number of beasts determine the power of Uncaged. Uncaged is the second skill of Arum, okay, this one Uncaged says that Arium consumes all her spirit beasts to spawn a lion that charges at the target area, okay? Dealing 500 plus 60% AP magic damage. is a quite lot magic damage, okay? I made an, an error here, overextend under tower, and I finally end up dying, okay? If you want to reach master, you need to be careful with these overextends because they are not pretty much uh, good to do. Nearly all the times you make an overextend to the jungle enemy, you end up dying, end up giving a free kill, so try and be always safe. As a support, you need to give a lot of vision, okay? You need to run around the map giving vision so that your uh, mag, your ADC are pretty much safe, okay? Because if you don't give vision to them, they can be easily ganged, ganged by uh, Murat. Murat, you know, that is very fast, has a lot of dash. So you need to be all, all the game giving that vision being like the, like the map hack of your AD carry, okay? ADC. Okay, let's talk about the, the, the second skill. Also deals magic, as I was saying, deals 500 magic AP, okay? But also deals a, a slowdown, okay? Slowdown on the enemy. How? 
When you use the second skill, it bounces on the floor depending on the amount of beast you have, amount of spirits you have, okay? If you have one, it bounces only one on, once on the floor and, and reduces the enemy movement speed by 50% during one second, okay? If you have two of them, look now, I had two, I know, now I had three, okay? And if you had two, it reduces the enemy movement speed by 90% during one second. And if you have three charts, it reduced uh, the enemy movement for one second, vale. Okay, let's see now. I saved their Alistair, but he ended up dying, okay? Let's always have charged the spirits of the first one, but they consume a lot of ma ma mana, okay? So you need to be careful and not use the second skill a lot of times because uh, it wastes a lot of mana, mana. So you need to be careful and try to use them correctly. The second skill saves you a lot and also works a lot to engage, okay? So try to not use it a lot, not only for the mana, but also because it's very useful to, to slow the movement speed of the enemy when they are going to chase your AD carry or something, okay? Look here, I try to use it so, to, so my team can escape from that dive. The combo with Arum is Flicker Ultimate, okay? Uh, why do you use Flicker on Arum and not Heal? Because you want to use the Flicker to to try and dive under tower, okay? Under tower because, as you know, if I uh, chase with the Ultimate uh, an, an ADC or Aura Mag behind tower, practically you are going to destroy it because I'm going to read the, the third skill of Arum that I haven't read it yet because a lot of people doesn't know exactly what the ultimate of Arum does. They think that it's only a prison, but it also has some passives, okay? The ultimate snare, it says that, look now, look now. I'm receiving the damage of the tower and Elandor is killing Violet and all that damage is replying on me. That's why all my life disappeared, but also Violet disappeared, okay? This is worth it because I kill Violet, I die, doesn't matter, but Elandor can push the tower, okay? He practically pushed the tower, nearly threw it, didn't have time, but it's okay. Um, now I'm gonna read the, the ultimate of Arum. Snare, it says that Arum summons her three spirits immediately and binds herself to the target hero for 2.5 seconds, sorry. So it's like a prison during 2.5 seconds. Very similar to Alistair's prison, but it's just like body, body to body, okay? Alistair can throw it from distance. Arum no. That's the problem. Okay, while active, the, the ultimate, both Arum and the enemy hero are immobilized. Like, as you can see now. Both uh, Tulen and me couldn't even move, okay? But this is the the, the, the the important part of the ultimate, okay? It says, while active, both Arum and the enemy hero are immobilized and the damage taken by either one will be replicate, replicated on the other, okay? This is very important. This spell cannot be interrupted. That's not true because uh, Zip can interrupt the spell. Well, cannot interrupt. Uh, Zip is pretty much the counter of Arum because when you are ultimating uh, the AD carry of the other team, the enemy, Zip can save them, okay? With the second skill. Here, we are focusing Tara. I use the ultimate because I knew that we were going to kill her, okay? It's pretty much uh, useful in these occasions. You can use the ultimate to chase uh, someone under tower with flicker. You can use it defensively or when Murat maybe is going to kill uh, my Mac or maybe kill uh, Elandor. I can use the ultimate to save him, okay? So that he can run away. Run away or kill him. Uh, as I, I was telling about the ultimate of Arum, when I get a, an enemy with my ultimate, the, 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 the damage that I receive while uh, trapping the enemy is replicated on me, okay? So if I trap a Violet under the tower and the tower is hitting me, that, that, that damage that I'm receiving from the tower is replicating double, the tw double okay? Because... No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting a mess. I mean... If I get Violet under the, under her tower and the tower is hitting me, that damage that I'm receiving from the tower will replicate on Violet. So Violet will receive a lot of money, uh, damage. That's why when you get an ultimate from Arum under a tower, 
you, it looks like uh, Arum has a lot of damage, but it's not that. It's just that the ultimate replies the damage, okay? And the other way around, if I get Violet now here, imagine I get Violet here now, and Elandor starts hitting Violet, that damage that Elandor is doing on Violet will reply on me as well. So I will receive a lot of damage and Violet as well. Okay, here I, try, I use a, a, a flicker because 100% sure I would have died there. Okay, I always try to have the first skill charged to use the second one to slow them and, tr and use the ultimate. Look here, ultimate on, on Murat and he dies, okay? Volkath uh, covers me from Tulen's ultimate and I survive. I run away and go base to restore my life. Never, uh, uh, never make over overextend, okay guys? Try to be safe because this game was very hard to win. But by the overextend, you are not going to win it, okay? You need to be safe and try to to use your HP to tank the major amount of, of damage. And in this game, is Elandor the one dealing the, the most damage of the team. Is the only one playing safely. The other guys, uh, Alistair is playing horribly bad. Volkath, I have no words for that guy. He's playing horrible. And our jungle, practically, we haven't seen him in all the game in our lane. So we, you know that the jungle needs to camp much more the AD carry lane, the Vizal lane. But in this occasion, we haven't seen Alain in all the entire game. So we need to, I, I, say, I thought to myself, okay, I need to protect this Elandor because this Elandor is the one receiving the damage. So let's protect Elandor and destroy this game. Okay, we have the kill over Rowi. We are two to eight from 12 kills. So we have participated nearly 90% of the game, of the game kills, okay? So, okay, let's continue, uh, well, overextend from Alistair, frozen from Tulen, and he saves his life very well. Look, I hide in the bush to get my ultimate, and when I get the ultimate, I flicker and get on Tulen, okay? I grab Tulen, and Elandor kills him, perfect. All dead, Elandor kills both of them, perfectly we, because we used our ultimate correctly and now we go base okay to restore our HP as I told before a uh, per the support item I'm using the mother earth genesis okay which one is that one that one is the last item of support if it gives you five passives and most of them are uh, from uh, HP restore uh, magic defense magic uh, uh, physical defense and also a uh, potentials the HP and the and the gold of your allies that are very close to you okay I'm not using the the purifying a uh, support item because they don't have much CC I'm not using the vision item because they don't have uh, invisible champs so I decided to go for the most tanky item from support okay is the Genesis okay the last one the last support item, Mother Earth. Now we chased Murat perfectly. Uh, Arum is a total counter from Murat. Alistair also. So that's why we decided to pick this. Okay, I tried to pick with the ultimate tooling. I couldn't not pick him. I get Rowi so that she cannot go with the with the second skill, but even though she goes to base, okay, doesn't matter. Now I have 20 seconds cooldown, so don't be afraid of using ultimates with Arum because every 20 seconds you will have it, Alistair every 10 seconds maximum. So Murad now is very quite fucked in the game, okay? I go on the tower, I tanked all the damage, ul ultimate from Alistair. Okay, I go here to save my team. I grab Murat, I receive damage from the tower, but nah, Murat has a lot of HP, I couldn't kill him. I try to restore my life hitting on him, but now nah, I only have one spirit, so Murat ends up killing me, okay? But it's worth it, why? Because Murat wasted all his skills on me, he has cooldown very high now, and Elandor kills him, okay? Elandor is quite fed, I'm quite fed, look my HP bar is enormous now, that's why I run through the map very uh, comfortable because I think like I can receive a lot of damage I don't know if they have anti-healing damage uh, items but I say like doesn't matter if I tank the, the skills from the enemies it's worth it because they waste them and when we start a team fight okay look this I use the ultimate to save Alistair in this occasion 
Alistair uh, positions extremely bad and ends up dying but my ultimate on Tara it was just defensive okay I wanted Alistair to survive if Alistair survives in late game we win okay automatically we win that champ is extremely broken in late because the cooldown of the ultimate is quite low it's like six seven or eight seconds okay and the and every champ that alistair grabs is a champ that we kill okay same as arum if i grab okay i flickered here to get tulen but uh, accidentally it gets a uh, Rowie. I cover Elandor here, I go in front of Elandor, in front of Tulen, so that the ultimate of Tulen didn't hit Elandor. Elandor had uh, a lot of life steal with the with the barrow. With the arrow, sorry. The barrow with the arrow. Look the poke from Elandor. I cover him, I tank tower, I really don't care the amount of towers I tank. I'm receiving damage, but I have a lot of life steal. So try to be close to your AD carry in this uh, uh, late game sorry i didn't remember the word in late game try to be close to elandor try to be close to the champ that is dealing the most damage okay here if i got a uh, tara she would automatically die i try to save the ultimate for uh, for murat okay i i need 100 that this elandor survive okay if elandor dies we don't have enough damage to to finish this game here we use the uh, on tara alistair used it correctly on uh, murat and we kill all of them okay i kill tulen elandor is alive because i'm practically uh, defending him with all my life okay always being in front of all the damage elandor needs to be behind me dealing the damage and i need to be in front of him receiving the damage okay we have i'm i'm getting mad here because we have a free base to end elandor is pushing top while alain correctly is pushing mid lane okay he's pushing the, the 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 tower and here i tank all the damage i get rowy so that elandor can finish elandor dies but survive and i decide not to go out of range so that the tower ki uh, kills me and elandor and alain manage to end up this game okay this is a master game with arum this is how maybe you can play it it's not a perfect game but it's pretty much what you can do with an arum hp okay i hope you enjoyed subscribe and see you in the next one